everyone, it's Amanda here with Chiquelle. And if you are new to wearing wigs or you're maybe thinking about taking the plunge into wig wearing and you have no idea where to start and what to look for in a wig to make sure that it's going to look as natural as possible on you, then this video is for you. I'm here today to give you a few pieces of advice to take along with you while you're wig shopping so that you end up with a wig that not only feels great but also looks awesome on you. So my first piece of advice for you is really simple. When you are wig shopping for the first time, try your best to find a wig that is as close to your bio hair as you can. Wig wearing in the beginning especially is quite an emotional experience. So finding a color that's just what you know is just gonna make you feel closer to home and a lot more comfortable to start out with. My next pieces of advice for you all have to do with the cap construction. So how is that cap made? Whenever I'm wig shopping, I always buy a cap that has a monofilament top. So a monofilament top wig will have basically a kind of transparent material on top of the wig where each fiber is individually hand tied into the top of the wig. And this will create the illusion of it growing out of your scalp and it will also give you a chance to change the part on your wig. So I am currently wearing a wig that has a monofilament top. So here you can see that it gives the illusion that it's growing out of my scalp and I'm also allowed to change the part and I'll still be able to see my scalp. I'm gonna take it off so you can see what it looks like. So this spot right here is the monofilament top. I'm gonna to show you now a wig that does not have a monofilament top so you can see the difference. This wig here does not have a monofilament top so you cannot see through to a scalp and the inside of it you can see that it's just all sewn on into rows. So here's the monofilament top. You can see the part and you can see the scalp through. And here is no monofilament top. I'll put this on for you. So although a really cute wig, here's the top. You cannot see through to my scalp so it doesn't give the appearance of it growing out of my head. I can also not change the part. It's stuck like this forever. My next piece of advice for you still has to do with the cap construction. So I would suggest finding a wig that has a lace front. So a lace front is basically a piece of lace on the front of your wig where your uh, fibers are individually hand tied into it and if you were to pull the hair off of your face it gives you the illusion again that it's growing out of your scalp. So here this is a lace front wig and I can pull this off my face and it still looks like it's coming out of my head. I'm going to show you one now that doesn't have a lace front. So this wig here it does not have a lace front. Although it has a monofilament cap and I can change the part on it the lace front is not there. So if I were to put this on and try to pull it off my face, we're not going to be able to see that it looks like it's coming out of my scalp. I just see a straight line of where all those hairs are just sewn onto the wig. So it really makes a difference. So this one does not have a lace front. I can show you another one that does have a lace front so that you can see it better. So this one does have a lace front and I can pull this off of my face and it looks like it's still growing out of my scalp. So lace fronts are something that you should look for in a wig if you want it to look really natural on you. My last piece of advice for you is to find a wig that is fully hand tied cap. 
Now, this one is a lot about preference, actually. Um, if you were to find a fully hand-tied cap, that means that every fiber is sewn on individually onto the cap, and it also makes a really stretchy and comfortable cap. If you aren't getting a fully hand-tied lace cap, then you are going to end up likely with a wefted cap. And that means that the hairs are sewn on into rows. And when they're sewn on into rows, you get all these gaps in your wig. These are really good for um, having a cooler feeling on your head. It's not, um, it's not as hot. But if you were to pull your hair back or do kind of different hairstyles with a, a wefted cap, you're going to see through onto your scalp. So currently I'm wearing a wefted cap. If I were to pull my hair back, you're going to see the wefts and you can see through to my scalp. I'm going to show you a fully hand tied cap now. So this wig is a fully hand tied cap. So if I were to pull it back, you're not going to see my scalp. It is all individually hand tied, which gives it the ability to move in whichever direction it wants. And it just moves a lot more naturally. So this wig that I'm wearing right now, it has all of the things that I have just talked about. It has the lace front, it has a monofilament top, and it has a fully hand-tied cap. I'm going to put on a wig now that has none of those things so that you can see what I mean. <laughs> Hold on. So <laughs> this wig does not have a lace front. You can see that abundantly clear. There is no lace front. It is just a straight line. All the hairs are sewn in. It does not have a monofilament top, so I cannot see any scalp anywhere. It's all just sewn onto the top. And it does not have a hand-tied cap, so I can pull this and I can see through the wefts onto my head. And not only that, this is a hairstyle that looks nothing like what I am used to or nothing like what my hair looked like before. So this wig clearly is not a natural fit for me. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> so I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you learned a few things to allow you the chance to find a wig that is going to suit you and look really great on you. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube for more tips and tricks for wig wearing, as well as lots of different wig reviews. And if you're interested, follow along on TikTok and Instagram. Have a great day. Bye, guys.